Welcome back, everybody, to the continuation of our Let's Play of Space Exploration and Cross Story 2. So, I've been busy a bit. I have placed down the whole machine over here. Everything is in place. And I've also placed down the train station. Now, for the train station, I basically just made a copy of the other place we have over here, of the iridium um, station over here because well we more or less need the same items over here the only thing we're probably going to be doing differently is how we are going to hook this thing up over here so without further ado let's maybe start thinking about hooking this place up we've got a whole bunch of stations over here we only got one liquid station not two uh because we only need one liquid station and we will probably need a whole bunch of stupid stuff over here we have one designated output station this one over here is already pretty much straightforward uh what we need to do over here we could put a single belt for every one of these in you know what why not why not yeah let's start over here uh here we go we're gonna have three belts one of these belts coming from over here because that is going to be the belt that is coming out of this machine done and then the other two are coming from over here somewhere let's build the reverse because that's usually easier also, I've placed all the modules. This thing over here might just cause a brownout once we start it up. Uh, if that's the case, well, so be it. The next thing we're going to do is going to be working on power either way. And it's definitely a good idea for us to start to work on power. Good, 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 good. And then we just combine these two up. We could probably combine this up into a single red belt. Of course we could. But, well, now we've done this. Good. Um, the power flux that we need to make, I kind of decided against having this slot open over here as another one of these blocks uh we're just gonna have three of these blocks i think it will be fine uh the power flux is gonna be made over here so the only thing that we need to put right over here is the power flux blocks let's maybe use this one all the way at the end for it uh because it is well the least significant let's put it like that there we go let's chopping trees by hand what is going on over here good and then power flux will be coming from over here we could immediately order up this train over here well, let's do it. So that will be, let's have a look. That will be this station right over there. Uh, the Wolf, no, your name is going to be Powerflux Requester. There we go. Train is not coming yet, I think. Maybe it's coming yet, I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, we should definitely check if everything over here is fine. We're gonna open up with well, that's 8,000. Yeah, I think it's fine. And I think he is coming up right over to us. Perfect. That is Powerflux done. Now, we do need Cryonite, and we do need... That's all over here. We do need Cryonite, and we do need Plastic over here. And I'm going to keep these as Red Belts. Maybe Red Belt is a bit too much, but I'm going to keep these as um, designated Red Belts. Uh, and that will be coming from over here. And then, well, if we, if we pull this over here, <laughs> we're going to run into that belt over there. So, let's move it over to at least here. There we go. And then you go like this. And then... Let's see. Uh, technically, it doesn't really matter where which belt is. Uh, there's no such thing as top or bottom over here. So, we could just do it like this. And this should be fine. We still got some bots over here that can help us out with a belt over here. Uh, we will probably have to go back and pick up some red belt every now and then. Uh, but this over here should be fine. We are missing one, aren't we? No, we're not. We just elongated one very long. Here we go. Here we go. So you have an air. You have an air. Good. So one of them will be plastic. One of them will be... Please don't contain any spicy rocks. There was no spicy rocks in there. Perfect. Yeah, one of them will contain plastic. The other one will contain the cryonite. We just have to choose two. And then we're done over here as well. Here we go, here we go. I will probably have to go back for red belts. Yeah, that, that is going out pretty darn fast. Uh, and we're probably going to need a whole bunch more. Oops, that was not the thing I wanted to press. Um, here we go. So once we go back, please give me a thousand. Infinite. No, <laughs> thousand is fine. Um, yeah, because we're probably going to need that. Here we go, here we go. Here. We might as well just go back right away. When we're going to... Oops, not like this. I'm just going to ghost this real quick. All the way up to here. Perfect, that's fine. And then let the bots figure it out from over there. In the meantime, we're going to pick up some belts real quick. The cry, not the cry, not the, the, um, the pyroflux. The, or the... A vulcanite. There we go. That was the word I was looking for. The vulcanite. The vulcanite has already arrived. 
So we already have that available. Sand, of course, will be coming from uh, us requesting in stone. Uh, I don't think we will ever, 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 ever make train that transports sand. I don't think it makes any sense. Um, I think that was also one of the big issues we had in the previous playthrough, uh, having belts or, or trains that transport sand around. I would love to, to like not have sand going around. If we do maybe have a train of sand at some point in time, then it should be a terminal train. Uh, so a train that picks up sand and brings it somewhere where nobody needs it anymore. Good, but that's what we find. Perfect. And yes, but yeah, that, that that is for the future. Also, swarm safety has stopped, probably because we're missing some kind of science. Maybe we will have a look at that at some point in time. Uh, maybe the, the, the platform is full. We will see. We will see. Good. So, have the bots placed the rest of the belt over here? Well, they're going at it. Um... Good, good, good. You know what? We could use one of these for plastic and the other one of these for plastic as well. And uh, for plastic for, uh, for the cryonite. So we could do just something like this. Here. We go this way. Uh, and make sure we leave ample space. Almost. There we go. Uh, and then, of course, we need some loaders. Boop, boop. Oh, man. Loaders. Loaders are so nice. Good, and then we're also going to need... Yeah, we can use this one. This one is not occupied yet. One, two. And then we can just go like this. Go like that. We go like this. We go like that. We go like this. And we go like that. Perfect. Good. Then, you over there. Um, You could be... Not Jeremy Colon. You are going to be a plastic requester. There we go. And then you over here. Yeah, this one over there. You're not Josh. You are going to be a cryonite rod requester. There we go. Handing to requester. Aren't you over there? <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh oh. Do we have two of these? No, we never moved the other one. Okay, we never moved the old one. <laughs> uh, and I think you are stuck because of the two way track, I think. Yeah, definitely because of the two way track. That is fine. That is fine. Good. That is that. In. Uh, done in. Then. Ooh, train, 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 train. Move away. <laughs> then we got two more um, uh, requesting terminals open over here. One of them will be for stone. I don't, do we need the other one for something? One will be stone. And one will be the ore. Of course. We need the ore. <laughs> Without the ore, we don't do anything. Um, sure. Let's make this one over here. The stone requester. Uh, Nilixon, no, you are going to be requesting stone. Where is it? I could control F it, but no, there we go. Yeah, we got already 10 stone requesting stations out here. That's a lot. Um, you can start doing that. Mm, and then stone will be going over here. I think we've not even looked at the input over here. No, we have not. So let's make sure that we have the inputs over here ready for anything. Uh, technically something like this. This one is getting its own input path. I guess a yellow belt will be enough because stone over here is really slow. Like, what do we need? We need three stone per second. We've got a crafting speed of 3.6. Uh, that means we need 7.2, 10.8 stone per second. Okay, never mind. That is a red belt. Uh, so we will make it a red belt. And it comes from over there somewhere. And then we do the same thing over here. Here we go. And then you turn into two yellow belts. There we go. That will be the stone input. And you over there, you could be your own little yellow belt. There we go. There we go. Cryonite is coming in. Perfect. That might have been a bit too far, but that should be fine. We do now. Well, you know, the cryonite is coming in. Uh, actually, no, we will not be, we're not going to be making the, the orbs yet, or the, 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 the anodes yet, because we don't have the nitric acid yet. So, we're still good for that. Good. And then, one, two, three. And then, one of these. And I guess we just pull this one over there. Perfect. And then, we pull your red friends next to you. Here we go. Here we go. 
That's a bit of a mess. I don't mind this corner being like this, but this over here is a little bit... Yeah, there we go. Good, good, good. Perfect. Uh, which means yellow belt over here, yellow belt over there, yellow belt over there. That's done. Red belt over there. And red belt over there. And that's done as well. That will be the stone input. Stone train has arrived. Okay, there's still some belt missing over there at the top. Um, not quite sure. Am I? I'm not out of belt. I guess some other bad, uh, bots, bad bots. <laughs> I guess some other bots have uh, required us to, to build this over here. Uh, which I guess is fine. There we go. Good. Or maybe I've just got some lazy pocket bots. I'm pretty sure I got some lazy pocket bots. There we go. That should do it. <laughs> good, 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 good. So that's the sand coming in, or the stone, which will be turned into sand. And then, of course, the final input, that will be, I guess, you over here. That will be this station all the way over there. Uh... <laughs> Gilbertron Heavy Industries. No, that's not your name. Uh, you don't even have a name yet. I don't even think you have a train yet. Um... This one is going to be Crushed Hormonite to 8 Requester. Yeah, there is no train for this yet. Uh, also, train limits, we will probably have to set them for all of them. There we go, because all of this is set up in some kind of a default way. Uh, I don't mind ordering extra trains, but yeah, we, we should not order too much stuff over here. There we go. So, all of these should be off. Um, <laughs> Super Lord Pedro. <laughs> Oh, that's the output. Okay, I see. Super Lord Pedro? No. Um, that's not going to be your name. Your name is going to be Holium Plate 28 Provider. There we go. Good, 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 good. Uh, we might as well do the Nitric Acid real quick. That's over here. Speed Demon? No. Your name is Nitric Acid Requester. There it is. Set it up. Train is coming. Perfect. Nothing to be done over here. I'm uh, not quite sure why you stopped all the way over there, but, well, there's probably an issue with a signal over here. Uh, we'll have to figure that one out soon. Good. Um, one thing we do need is going to be a train over here. So let's prepare this train. And then we also need to prepare the belt over here. Uh, the power flux over here is already going. That's fine. The sand over here. I've, I've made one long sand belt over here for, for these machines over here. Uh, that just goes around. Um, I guess that's fine. <laughs> I guess that's fine. We don't really need uh, anything special over here. And then, of course, this over here is also already all going. Let's let's check up on this real quick. Um, you're missing water. Oh. Yeah, that's going to be a bit of an issue. Mm. And then, yeah, you missed it over there again. I think I made either a weird copy. Wait a minute. Did, did I not make a full copy of... No, we don't have the issue over here. Maybe I made... I probably made a stripe copy. Uh, but good thing we checked. I mean, that's, that's what this episode will be all about. Setting this thing up and making sure that everything over here works. Because, as we all know, if you build something big in Factorio, you will always mess up something. And the single pipe can stop the complete build. There we go. But this looks way better now. Also for over here, um, I kind of went with this kind of design. I think this might be better. I mean, it will be self-balancing. Uh, it will be non-blocking, which is good. And the most important part is that we get like full blue belts out of this. And <laughs> with this, we do get full blue belts out of this. So I'm happy with that. Okay, what we need over here is we do need... One blue belt uh, of our target ore. Which will be coming from over here somewhere. Uh, and then let's just pull you all the way over here. There we go. It will be coming out of this one from over here. There we go. And then we need another one of these. Yeah, let's place these first. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, let's follow it down. And then we go this way. There we go. What the hell? <laughs> How did that happen? 
<laughs> there we go. Probably because I went up with my jetpack. I'm not quite sure. Let's have a look. Where does this one go? Let's pull it in reverse. It's all the way over here. There we go. Um, We could, of course... Oops. We could, of course, pull it a little bit over to over here. But you know what? Nah. This is fine. This is fine. We do have some trees over here we have to deal with. Well, might as well chop a tree by hand every now and then. Keeps the wrist strong. <laughs> Good. And then, oops. This goes all the way over there. Perfect. Now, you've probably seen this belt over here coming back as well. This belt over here, this yellow belt over here is coming back. That is coming from this machine all the way over here. Where we um, make or wash the holmium water into more... Dirty home, uh, dirty homie, but into crushed homium and into stone. And this one goes all the way back, goes all the way back to where the train stations are. And it's just gonna top up, uh, top off the machines that, that or the machines, the, the storages that order up homium or crushed homium in our case. Uh, and what's it called again? And stone. There we go. And then it will be automatically rebalanced into the system. And we don't really need to do anything special about it. Good. Good, 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 good. Um, so let's move you all the way over there. The only thing we have to figure out is where is what. Uh, and we do know one of the things. Mm, let's start over here with maybe you. Sure. Let's maybe also stand on the train track because there will be a train coming at some point in time. Crushed Hormonite. Here we go. Actually put that on the other side. There we go. And we just sent you back. And put you back into the air. There we go. Cute. And then, of course, we got the stone. Um. Well, where does the stone go? Stone lives over there. Ooh, actually. Ooh. Continuing this on. Uh, um, stone is over there. Perfect. Which means we can just put that splitter all the way over here at the end. And just go over here and go crush Hormonite. On the side. There we go. You go over there. And then... This one over here. Nah. Well, we're just going to use the red on the ground for this one. There we go. Goes all the way like this. All the way like this. All the way like this. Oops, that's a little bit far. Uh -uh. And then... Into here. Under. Over. There we go. Perfect. Good. I think that's the full facility in place for everything we need. Um, so let's get our stuff going over here. This train over here should be in. This train over here is already full. Excellent. Uh, which means, is the train station over here named? No, it's called Simpone. That's not a good name. Um, here we go. Two, eight, Provida. Mm, and let's have a look. Let's have a look. Crushed Hormonites. There we go. Go to the provider. Go to the requester. Full cargo. Empty cargo. And then he's coming over. Cute. And with that, we can at least see if this machine over here is doing as or working as intended. Uh, anything else we're missing over here? We got the nitric acid. Um, the nitric acid should already have made, or we should have been starting to make. Our baubles over here. No, actually, we're not. <laughs> and you know why? Uh, the pipe is not connected. Uh, I never connected up the pipe. So, we do need to do that one as well. So, Holmium. Okay. Uh, not Holmium, nitric acid. There we go. You get the connection over there. You get the connection over there. Uh, let's maybe place a pump over here. Just because we can. Because it's going to be quite the distance. Here we go, and we want to go through here. And let's see how far we can pull this. Oh, not far enough. <laughs> uh, here's fine. Uh, we need to be over there. So I guess we can... Hmm... We might as well go all the way over here and then just have a bit of a weird corner over here. I mean, why not? Always like myself a weird corner. Here we go. And then you over there. You over there. You over there. You over there. And off it goes. 
Good. The homium is also coming in. Um, it should be coming in as we speak. It is already there. Perfect. There we go. Here comes our blue balls. Uh, a little bit confused about... Oh, I see why. Um, there we go. And same issue down here. Good. Perfect. And yeah, we are probably going to have to face the same issue we have faced with um, uh, the Iridium build. That these things over here just fill up up to like 220. <laughs> like a stack with 10%. So, yeah, this is going to take some time. <laughs> this is just going to take some time. Um, also, of course, we got a worst case scenario over here where, like, all of the um, cryonite orbs or the, the Anion and the Anion Iron Exchange Beach, they will be stacking up over here first, whereas the ore will be stacking up over there first. Uh, so before this machine over here can actually work, it's going to take it some time. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, do we have to flip all of them? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, this one was already flipped. What the hell? Oh. No, wait, this is correct. That is correct. Okay, I, I just randomly flipped things because I thought things need flipping. Um. Okay, in, 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 in. Oof. <laughs> it's going to be rough. <laughs> And it's probably everywhere. Yes, it is everywhere. Literally everywhere. Except over here and over here. <laughs> but <laughs> it is over here. Um, not over there. Oh, boy. Uh, oh, shit. Um, I just remembered something. We are missing one thing. We're missing the copper. Um, yeah. So we do need all stations. Uh, where do we get the copper from now? <laughs> I mean, I could just make a station over here. You know what? Let's make a station over here. It'll be fine. Um, there we go. We're just going to copy over you real quick. There we go. I'm going to place you over there. I'm going to quickly make a station over there. Yeah, we do need copper plate to make the copper wire because we need copper wire in our build. Um, I completely forgot about that. There we go. You over there. You're not this requester. You are going to be a copper plate requester. There we go. Good. Hook this up. Um, yeah, that should be fine. Pocket bots. Build us, please. We probably also need some power over here. There we go. There we go. There we go. There. And... Now it's getting kind of murky. Maybe over here. And one over there. And then, well, we don't need this. But we do need that. There we go. And don't I have any pocket materials left? No, I do not. We should definitely put the signal down. Uh, so that we don't block up and completely destroy everything over here in terms of signaling. There we go. The train should be coming. But it will not be fully unloaded yet. Because we are, of course, missing a bit. Oh, was that power fluctuating? Oh, shit. <laughs> Remember how I said that this machine over there will probably just completely obliterate everything? Yeah, that's our power out. And the reason for that is it is just out. I think we just brown out it ourselves. All the reason to start working on uranium. Uh, because this over here, everything over here seems to be working as intended. The wood is there. The fuel is there. But we were probably at the brownout stage for a while. And if you have a power plant that re requires power to make power, uh, you are definitely prone to a brownout. Especially if... Oh, shit. Um, not only that. Because this thing has no power. This thing over here now completely goes ham. Oh, boy. Um... We're going to fly this rocket soon. Um... Just deactivate that, but yeah. Note to self, don't run out of power anymore. <laughs> because your base is going to go cray-cray after that. Uh, absolutely cray-cray. Well, what's done is done. Um, we can't fix this right now. But we should definitely make sure that we don't run out of power anymore. Good. Either way, let's fix up that one station real quick. So that all of that is done and that place is ready. I will probably have to um, finish up 
fixing the power system up here. We're probably just going to disconnect a lot of stuff real quick and make sure that... Oh, God. Are these inserters? Oh, look how fast they are. <laughs> you can do it, inserter! Go, 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 go! Yeah, we're probably going to have to disconnect most of the base. <laughs> Good, either way, let's just put down the thing that we need and let's build a reverse real quick so that I know where it needs to go. We don't need a lot of copper, we only need a little bit of copper uh, and we need that bit of copper actually over here. Good, so... Mm, oh, okay, let's do it like this. Yeah, put two over there and we definitely have enough and then we... Yeah! The jetpack mod definitely has some issues if you pull a drag at the belt. But, oop, that's too far. No, it's not over here. It's over there. Here we go. Good. Good, 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 good. <laughs> yeah, we, we should definitely start working on nuclear power after this. Perfect. Uh, good news is for, for working on nuclear power, we can just do that um, by just going to the other place and just ignoring what's going on over here. Mm, I guess we can do that, but maybe first and foremost, let's just... I think I only connected up one power wire over here. Yeah, the whole power plant is going over a single wire. <laughs> Pro tip, don't do that. You will burn down everything. Um, especially if it's a small power pole like this one. There we go. <laughs> Good. And then the only thing we need to do over here real quick is, well, let's not use this. Let's just use whatever I can find over here. You get rid of this. Get rid of that as well. Uh, there should be like a whole bunch of fuel in you. There we go. Just going to use this one real quick. And then we're just going to kickstart this thing real quick. Perfect. Mm. And then... There we go. Just kickstart like this. Good, but I will be fixing power in the background and making the base run in minimal mode. I will probably just disconnect a couple of builds uh, so that we don't need power for everything. Uh, and next time around, we are going to be focusing on making more nuclear fuel. We will probably... Yeah, we will probably set up Coverex first. Make sure that Coverex is there and ready for us to go. And then I will probably just have some time on my own. Go over to Byra and start putting down a whole bunch of um, uranium mines. And then the uranium will be flown back uh, from Byra via cargo rocket over here to Novice, where we will then refine it into power. Good. Um, wait a minute. No, something is actually broken over here. Wait a minute. This is not correct. There should be fuel over here. Something is wrong. Oh. It might just be another stuck train. Is, is, my, is my old train stuck again? Where the fuck is that guy? I think the oil train might be stuck. Because we don't even have normal fuel over there. And, well, if the oil train is stuck... Then, well, either way, I'll figure this out on my own. Uh, I'll give you the heads up afterwards. Thank you so much for today. If you do like what you see, please do leave a like, a follow, a comment, a subscription. Every one of those actions does help me out in getting this channel more known by the YouTube algorithm and getting passed around even more. And you will do me a major favor if you just click that button every now and then, and it will be perfectly fine. Nevertheless, I wish you all an amazing evening, and until next time, see you around!